This guy lunged over and bit someone's ear off. What is going on everyone? Welcome to Story Saturday. So this week I'm sharing with you guys a story that happened in like 2010, maybe even 2011 or 2012. It was a decent amount of time ago. So back then I used to coach a little kid's basketball team. Well it wasn't little kid, it was like third and fourth grade, fifth and sixth grade basketball team. And one of these years we just happened to make it to the championship, but before we went to the championship, before the final two teams battled it out for the trophy, you had all these other little playoffs and different like qualifying games. So on one of these qualifying games, it was like a Friday night or a Saturday night, we were called to go down to the city of Springfield to one of the gyms down there to have our basketball game. I always had the team get there about 15 to 20 minutes before our game started just so there wasn't anybody rushing to get their shoes on or rushing to warm up or anything like that. So while we were standing in the hallway waiting for the game before us to finish, you could definitely tell that the crowd was pretty emotional. Everybody was screaming in there. I mean, they were, they were fighting for who was going to go to the next round of the championship. So at the end of the game, one team had won, and it was like a, I can't remember if it was a buzzer beater or if it was an overtime, but whatever happened, it was just crazy that this one team had pulled ahead from the other one. And the players line up to like shake hands when the game's over. They you know, high five each other. Well, the coach from the losing team didn't like some of the comments that were being said apparently, and this guy lunged forward punched the other head coach in the face, and while this guy was trying to react, trying to recover from being struck in the face, this assistant coach bit his ear, bit a good chunk of his ear off, and spit it out on the floor like some Rick Grimes shit. And everybody was just screaming. Keep in mind, this is like 9-year-old, 10-year-old, 11, 12-year-old boys, and, you know, there was different people there of all ages. There were younger brothers and sisters and everybody. It was just... It was crazy that this would happen at a youth basketball game. Anyways, the assistant coach ended up fleeing out of there. He took off. Nobody stopped him amongst all the commotion. And our game had like went on like a half an hour later than when it was originally scheduled. They had the police come. They had to clean up the whole scene. And they took, like I guess, interviews from people that were right close to exactly where it happened. Anyways, like I said, this guy took off and he ended up going in on Monday morning and turning himself into the police department because everybody obviously knew who it was. It was the assistant coach of the other team, so whoever was written on the paper was going to be the guy, but I just thought I'd share that crazy basketball story with you guys. I have a bunch more and I'm going to be sharing them a lot more throughout Story Saturday now that the season's over with. I have them from at least 10, 15 years back, so there's a bunch of good ones in there, but I just thought I'd get started with that one right there. I'm going to throw a clip of what the actual story is that I could find from this, because, like I said, I can't remember if it was 2010, 2011, um, but yeah, anyways, here's a pic of the story, or the pic of the news article, and you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'll see you on Monday for My Tech Monday. Peace. Peace.